Hey, how's everyone doing? I hope well. Uh, this is my first video filming. I bought a, a little directional microphone. Uh, so, as opposed to the microphone that is on my phone, hopefully uh, it picks up better quality and less background noise and just trying to always improve. <laughs> um, one thing I also improved is my Essie Azula 2. Um, it's a small fixed blade, takes a razor's edge. Absolutely love this thing. But I wanted to carry it in a different configuration other than on my belt, uh, so I figured out a way. I got inspired by um, a gentleman on one of the Blade forums. Actually, I think it was Blade forums. <laughs> um, and the way he did it, I did it a little bit differently, but I made it so I can carry uh, this particular knife. I'm sure you could do it. Actually, he had, a, he had pictures that he did it with a few other knives, uh, but it's just an interesting way that... I always kind of thought of, but never really, you know, jumped in and tried to make one. Uh, but before that, I want to show a few other things I make, or I made in the past. I've done some videos, so you can go back. Um, I'm pretty sure on, on everything. Uh, but, yeah, just, just a little show and tell. Um, Kershaw Shuffle. I did a, bla uh, not black wash, acid wash on it. Uh, gave it some texture, took the pocket clip off, uh, made the finger choil a little bigger and more comfortable, and then gave it some jimping. Um, I then took the pocket clip for the Kershaw Shuffle, uh, just because it's such a small, tiny little knife. Um, it's kind of like an in-the-pocket knife, and I used that pocket clip to make the Kershaw Skyline deep carry. Um, if you carry the Kershaw Skyline, which is a, an amazing knife, super good EDC knife. Um, if you know about it or have one and tip up, it carries a lot of it sticks out. It rides almost like that. Uh, so the clip off of that, I cut one of the ears off um, and then drilled a hole, bent it up, uh, mounted it, and then bent it back. So that is just like that. I like making stuff. So, and I got Something I'm going to be making here shortly, so stay tuned for that. Um, I made a custom G10 handle scale for the Kershaw Cryo 2. Um, on this side, it's just a big slab of heavy steel, uh, so I wanted to lighten it up and give it a little more grip because it is so smooth, so I made this G10 handle scale. I do have a video on this as well, um, but it mounts up perfectly. The only thing, I wanted it speed assist again, assisted opening, so I took it off and put the spring bar back in because there's no, I didn't do any cutout for, to make it speed assist. I guess I could uh, get a router and uh, route out that handle scale. Um, I did a <clears throat> acid wash on this Buck Bantam pocket knife. Still love the Bantam, it's super light, um, just a nice... Nice little lock back folder. Um, what I did, I did acid wash. I made the finger choil bigger and more comfortable and then cut some jimping on the top. I tried to keep it the same spacing that it already had and just continued it on. So real nice sharp jimping if you want to choke up on the blade. Um, made some, made a leather holster, uh, sheath, whatever for my uh, Leatherman rebar. And then I made a couple little pocket holsters for this little North American Arms 22 Magnum. This one, obviously, is just a pocket holster. And then this one, I put a little extra pocket for five extra rounds. So that's some cool stuff I made. Some this is this one's coming up. Got a Camillus. I think I did a video on this like two years ago. Got a Camillus. Um, it was paracord wrapped, just like this little guy here. Um, I might make a neck knife out of this. Um, still kind of kicking around that idea. It, to make it a neck knife, it would have to be like out of leather or Kydex molded to it. And then it has a, like the body's just the frame. So it would have to have like some sort of snap that goes through the f uh, frame to hold it. Unless you just made it that good retention that it just held in there. Um, Camillus Titanium Fixed Blade. Um, already, I just got to order a material. I'm going to make handle scales for this. So if you're interested at all, stay tuned for that. And that's that portion. 
I'm sure a lot of you fast forwarded through. <laughs> I'll put all this stuff away, sorry. Um, so what I made for the Azula is a deep carry in the pocket sheath attachment, I guess you want to call it. And there it is. Um, I'll roll a picture right now of what I used. It's one of those paint sticks, uh, well, for a body shop. Uh, it's got curved ends to it, uh, and you can smooth out uh, edges of body filler and stuff. All right, there's some pictures there. Um, so what I did was I cut the ends off. It had ridges on both sides. One side I kept this ridge, uh, got rid of this one for the most part. I wanted this outside ridge so I could line it up with the hard edge of the sheath. And then this side I ground uh, both ridges smooth and then painted the whole thing, measured it out, marked it up, drilled it, and the attachment points are for this and the gentleman that inspired me kind of to do this um, what he used as his extension bar I guess you want to call it was one of these molly attachments he he cut like one row of them out and then used that and then he did something that I didn't want to do was he he had it attached here and then he drilled out and had it attached there and it was much much shorter of a piece so I wanted to keep it um, I wanted to use both of these factory um, holes um, and then have it be able to take this off easily and go from this to this and right back to this if I want to so I could carry on the belt if I'm camping or if I just want to EDC it um, in place of a folder I could just use um, this setup um, let me grab the box of what the actual clip is um, it's from Night Eyes. It's called the Total Eclipse. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Um, and it's, it's for phones or basically anything. Uh, it's got 3M adhesive tape. Uh, that's how it attaches and I was a bit skeptical of it. You can see the tape in there. It's basically double-sided tape, but 3M is pretty damn strong um, and I was kind of seeing what kind of play or the give that it had and I'm really not worried about it at all. Um, one of the other things about this clip is it's not just a clip, it auto locks and I'll show you real quickly how that happens. It's basically like a little ratcheting um, thing. I don't know what, exactly what to call it but as your fabric goes through the clip uh, this cinches down and then you can't really pull it uh, back out. Um, I'm going to go to a different shot right now and show you how it rides in my just regular shorts that I wear uh, most often. So I'll go to that right now. Alright guys, hopefully um, you guys can see or at least get an idea of what it looks like. Um, so there it is. It does stick out of the pocket a little bit, but it still is a pretty deep carry for the most part. Um, you can deploy it with your thumb in the pocket. It's a little cumbersome, a little little tricky, uh, but normally I just draw the whole thing. You gotta put your, you gotta press this little clip as I, as I showed you with the ratchet thing um, and deploy the whole thing with sheath and all like that out of my pocket. So one thing I wish I would have done was kind of made this bar at a different angle or use a different material and had it curved so that I could get my whole hand in there. It's a, it's a little uncomfortable and weird to uh, get it out of the sheath because it does kind of get in the way so you just have basically half of the handle to use um, and then push off with your thumb so it's a little tricky like I said a little cumbersome um, and because it is that way um, I like to have a blade of some sort as a line of defense uh, so I just carry this little get off me knife. <laughs> um, it's the Sog Snarl uh, Browse Blades design with this little belt clip. So that's that, but it's very inconspicuous, very concealable um, as opposed to this. So I'm, I think I'm going to try to do like a whole month of carrying 
this and sometimes this as uh, my knife in place of a folder uh, just to see how it is. You know, I made the, I made it for a reason, so I, I definitely want to try it out. Um, so let's go back to the table. All right, guys. Uh, so that's it. <clears throat> um, it's it's something I made, something I'm proud of. Um, if it inspires you or interests you, maybe give it a try. Mess around with different materials, um, different ways of doing it. Uh, if you tried it on another knife, I'm sure the sheath's set up a little bit differently. Um, it'd be cool to make one for like this little CRKT Foltz Minimalist or something like that. Just have like a teeny tiny little fixed blade as your knife um, as opposed to neck carry. Um, this is kind of designed to be on the belt or a neck knife. Um, it's just a little too heavy for me. This is about like the heaviest I'll go and it, this is very light uh, for a neck knife. Just having a huge hunk of steel hanging from your neck. It, I really feel it personally so it's not something I do too often, um, even with the smaller neck knives like this. Um, I carry it every now and then, usually when I'm camping or something like that, uh, just to have an extra knife on me. So that is it. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider. And yeah, thanks. Have a good one, guys.